Hi everybody, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So in this video, uh, we're going to discuss um, Gypsy Rose or something Gypsy Rose did. Uh, Gypsy Rose, Brie, Christy, um, Gypsy Rose's stepmom, and Gypsy Rose's supporters. Something they did over on TikTok. Um, but first I want to say, so Kate Marie, Adaptive Kate, the survivor of Munchausen by Proxy, who um, Gypsy Rose is trying to piggyback her stories off of. I received a comment on a previous video saying that she kind of just, she gets upset about things and deletes her TikTok, her TikTok all the time. So, I don't know, maybe we can take this with a grain of salt. I don't know. But I still do think it's important to mention because uh, it just shows how Gypsy Rose is bullying. She's uh, committing online harassment. I don't know uh, the legality of it all. I don't know if that's a legal issue. But she is bullying and harassing Adaptive Kate on TikTok. And uh, it's just not right. So watch this video, this clip from this video by Nina, Flawless Nina. Okay, y'all, Kate is gone. And the reason why Kate is gone is because Brie, Christy, and their followers are calling her Peggy Leggy. The fact that she lost her leg because she is a Munchausen by proxy victim, and they're literally bullying her. I don't care what they say about me because I, I know that they're irrelevant. And of course, go check out the whole video. I'll link it down below. So they're calling this, this, so, so Gypsy Rose, her stepmom, Christy and Brie, I don't know who Brie is, but Brie and her supporters, Gypsy Rose supporters are harassing Kate Marie, calling her Peggy Leggy, which is so juvenile. Not only for Gypsy Rose, you know, I know that she, uh, didn't really have the normal growing up experience the rest of us had, but she should know calling a, a, a victim of Munchausen by proxy Peggy Leggy because her leg was amputated because her mom was a psycho. Um, she has to know that that is inappropriate, that's wrong, and that's bullying behavior. She has to know that that's wrong at 32, 33 years old, however the hell she is. She's too old to be doing stuff like this. And I don't know about this Brie thing. I don't know anything about her. I don't know who she is. Maybe I should, but she's a thing. And Christy should definitely know better at her big age, at her extended age, she should know better. And uh, it, quite frankly, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. You know, Kate Marie, um, I know people have had their complaints about her saying she's overly dramatic and that she takes down her TikTok all the time and then comes back and it's a whole thing. I know people, you know, have their things to say about her. And, you know, I get that. That's fine. You're entitled to have an opinion about somebody. But I just think it's, it's evil to do this to this girl. I mean, she didn't just get her leg amputated, you know, for fun. This is because her mother had Munchausen by proxy and um, Kate Marie and her sister were the victims of it. And um, it's almost like Gypsy Rose is jealous or something like, oh my God, I didn't have my leg amputated. And it's just, it's not okay. This behavior is not okay. And um, this girl, Gypsy Rose just does not, she is just, you know, making fun of Ryan, just being irresponsible, not advocating. I know everybody's sick of me bringing that up, but that was, she said that in her probation hearing that she was going to advocate. Oh no, instead of advocating, I think I'll bully and harass a victim of Munchausen by proxy. It's not okay. It's, and people say, you know, leave Gypsy Rose alone. She, she paid for her crime and blah, blah, blah. Well, no, she didn't. Because in order to pay for a crime, yeah, she went to prison for eight years, but she still hasn't taken accountability. Like she has said, this is me taking accountability. And she has said, um, you know, that uh, she's trying to make amends or whatever. And she's done nothing. She has done nothing. 
and she's not better in herself as a person. She She's not doing any of that. She's an awful individual and she's showing it every single day. And this is why I can say, because people are like, well, if you don't like fancy, then you like Gypsy Rose. Well, that's ridiculous because I see parallels in both of them. They are similar in a lot of ways. They go about it differently, but they are similar in a lot of ways. And they're both con artists. Fancy is a con artist. This isn't a fancy video, but I'm just saying people come at me and say, well, you can't talk about Gypsy Rose anymore because you talk bad about fancy. You can't talk about fancy anymore because you talk bad about Gypsy Rose. Uh, I don't like either one of them. I think they're both straight up psycho and irresponsible and con artist. And I'm allowed to say that. But so G Gypsy is a mess. She just runs this poor girl. This is, I believe, the second time that, that Kate Marie has taken down her TikTok because of Gypsy Rose. And it's just, it's not okay. It's bullying. It's bullying behavior, and why aren't more people reporting it? And if they are, why aren't the people in charge taking notice? Why? And technically, I guess what she's doing isn't really illegal, although I'm looking at it and seeing it as harassment, which I think, given, given the terms of her probation, harassment is probably, you know, something she shouldn't be doing. And... I just, um, you know, this isn't the way you try to integrate back into society after getting out of prison. Oh, I just got out of prison after eight years for unaliving my mom. I guess I'll harass real survivors of Munchausen by proxy on the internet. How does it make sense? It's ridiculous. She has no heart. She's a mean girl. And the only thing is she wants to be a mean girl, but she doesn't have all the other attributes a regular mean girl has. You know what I mean? Um, you know, she's no Regina George is what I'm saying because yeah, Regina George was a bitch, but she was hot. Um, but it's just, it's not okay to force someone who has gone through what Kate Marie has gone through, you know, and, and call her Peggy Leggy and stuff. It's rude. This is disgusting behavior, and I cannot believe that Gypsy Rose still has supporters. I can't believe people are supporting her, and I'm sure they're, they're young people who they've probably had their cell phone taken away, so they think they're mistreated by their parents. You know what I mean? It's just spoiled little girls, for the most part, are probably her followers. Spoiled little in, entitled children who are harassing Kate Marie. It's ridiculous. These people are ridiculous. And it's just, you know, when is Gypsy Rose gonna grow up? She's been out of prison um, for going on six months. When is this growing up gonna take place? I'm sorry for whatever Gypsy Rose alleges happened to her, if any of it really did happen to her. I'm sorry about that in the event any of it actually did happen. But you're a grown up now, you know? I was 32 years old and I was like mad at the world and everything because of how my mom treated me. But you know what? It's my time to suck it up and get through it, you know? And none of you know what I went through as a child because I don't share it, but, you know, that's another thing I hate. Her little worshipers, her little butt worshipers go and tell people, well, you didn't go through what she went through. How do you know? How do you know what anybody went through? You don't know what anybody went through when they were a kid. So this whole Gypsy Rose keeping her nose clean. Yeah, she may have not unalived anybody yet, but she is showing her true colors. It's just a nasty, nasty person. And Christy to be a grown woman with a grown child acting the way she is, she should be ashamed of herself and disgusted by herself. And um, and this Brie person, whoever the hell she is. But yeah, um, I do still think that a certain somebody has violated Gypsy Rose's 
rights in certain ways. I'm not gonna get into that. Um, so I will still defend her in, in that um, area, but I'm never gonna defend this behavior. You know, this is, this is deplorable behavior. I mean, has, does she have any like older people in her life who are decent human beings who can show her how to really be like a person. It seems like Ryan was pretty decent, but you know, she threw him away, tossed him aside and treats him like a pariah. And she's got this twink, Ken, I'm sorry if that's offensive, that's just what I call him, who is just, I don't even know if they're still together anymore. I don't know what's going on there. Um, there was some rumors that I don't know how credible they are regarding him and you know, whether it's rain and men or not, I, I don't know. Um, I had suspected, but didn't really want to say anything on the matter, but that's a whole other thing to talk about another day. Um, because I mean, I don't care what Ken's sexual preference is. I care that he's such a phony. Um, but at least he's being a phone, phony with Gypsy and she's the one that'll get hurt by it if um, she's capable of being hurt. But she's such a narcissist that it may not even phase her if anything happens there. But anyway, she's disgusting. Christy is disgusting. This Brie person is disgusting. Her followers who are participating in the bullying is disgusting and they should all be ashamed of themselves because they are, um, I, I think that uh, they're in for the fall, you know? You know, it's not gonna be, you know, maybe, maybe they think uh, Gypsy's just gonna become more and more famous and get more and more money and everything, but um, I think they're in for the fall and um, I'm here for it. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to everyone later. Bye. Mm -hmm.